<laughs> Isn't it funny that the most popular variety of squash in the UK is actually the hardest to grow in the UK? Now, our butternut squash is grown for flavour. They're absolutely delicious. Often the ones you get in the supermarket, devoid of flavour, devoid of passion. Nothing to get that excited about. So as much as I love you, butternut, we're going to go out on the farm and find something a little bit more interesting. You love squash, don't you, boy? Don't ya? Lovely big squash. Look at this chap, he's even better. I mean, they come in so many different sizes and colours. It's ridiculous that the only ones you see in the supermarket are the relatively boring, plain Jane butternuts, when there's a whole world of squashes, pumpkins, courgettes to be explored. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna dive right into that world. Now we are talking. All right, this one's great, this is a red onion squash. These are actually delicious, and this is what we're looking for today. But these are a little bit big for the recipe I've got in mind. But look at them, they're amazing. They're like these little baubles, but not Christmassy, more like summer balls. <laughs> these are even better, because I want to make like a one portion little squashy soup bowl, and I reckon that has just got ugh, delicious lunch written all over it. So we're going to pick that one. Asian style soup bowl. Now, Riverford have got a great recipe on the website already, which involves cream and cheese, which is really, really nice, but it's such a beautiful hot day today. I thought we'd do it with some more sort of fresh and vibrant flavors. So when I take the top off, I need to take a fair chunk off because I don't want to just slice it and ruin it. So I reckon like that, really careful when cutting squashes. I reckon I can make the cuts line up. Look at that, absolutely perfect. Now look at the colour of that. Isn't it amazing what nature can do with a humble vegetable? It seems a shame to cook it. So the seeds too, you don't have to throw them in the compost. If you pull off the little membrane, dry them and toast them, they're actually delicious. Pumpkin seeds, I mean, I'm sure you've heard of them. That's where they come from, pumpkins. Now we've got the top off, you can see there, all the seed pod on the inside. So get your spoon and look, just Scoop out the inside, and we've got a lovely cavity that's just begging to be stuffed. I mean, there's a fair amount of squash for one person there, so this is like a greedy man's portion. This, I pretty much overestimated how hungry I'll be, but we'll see. Waste not, want not, it'll get eaten. Seedless. Perfect, that's the bowl. That's our vessel, that's our flavour vessel, which is going to carry all those flavours. We're going to use it to eat, and then we're going to eat it. Peanut butter and squash works really well. Everybody knows peanut butter and sweet things because squash is very sweet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to smear that on the inside of the squash. I'm going to get a load of ginger. This is pretty rogue. Some crushed garlic. Basically just stuff which tastes amazing, stuffing in the squash. Got some lovely lemongrass too. Give it a crush just so that it releases its flavours a little bit more. Get them in. We'll take those out, that's just flavouring. And got some red pepper, chuck it in there. And now, coconut milk. I reckon about that. Like I said, this is quite a big one. This would be ideal for two people, or just one really hungry person, which is I. Whack, look at that, put it in the oven. Looks a bit weird. I like weird food like this. That's your dins, look at that. Full of flavour. So this has now been in the oven for about an hour because it was quite a large one. The smaller the squash, obviously, the less time it will take to cook. About five minutes before it's ready, I dropped some noodles in as well just to make it into sort of like a noodle soup. And if you look at it, it smells amazing. The squash is completely, really hot. <laughs> it's really hot. <laughs> completely soft to the touch, cooked all the way through. And if you take the lid off, it smells delicious. I can't wait. So I'm going to get some chopped spring onions and just get them in there like so. And you're gonna get some chili as well. And look at that. Isn't that just a beautiful bowl? So I'm gonna scrape off a bit of the side with some noodles as well. Oh. Squash goes so well with coconut and sort of lime juice as well. It tastes delicious. I hope you give it a go at home. Any other vegetable you'd like to see us talk about, cook or prepare, write a comment and let us know what you think. Hit like, hit share, hit subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for more weekly veg hacks.